All right, everybody, welcome back to another X Vault gaming video. X Vault here, and I do want to go over some bit of news. So, on that, I do want to say we're going to go over some PlayStation Now news. And in particular, we're going to talk about what the most PlayStation Now games are that were streamed but on PC. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and just jump to it. All right, so back at it here, I do want to go over what I just mentioned is the top five streamed games for PlayStation Now via the PC. See what's going on with that platform here. So in regards to that, really interesting, and this is through the entirety of spring. So here we are now, what, we're at June 22nd. So uh, as of now, and this is in no particular order, I'm just going to kind of go off. Kind of surprising, we'll start with the list here, Marvel's Avengers. So if somebody is subscribed to PlayStation Now, it looks like they are streaming Marvel's Avengers. So as poorly as that has been received and as poorly as that is going on right now, we are still having a lot of folks play that. But I have heard and mentioned reports on how well Marvel's Avengers is not doing. So this is just... Kind of a surprise because there's not a lot of people going on. There's not a lot of matchmaking going on. Uh, so, you know, for that to make the top five list on the PC side of things via PlayStation Now, definitely kind of odd. Now, the roadmap has been laid out. They have stuff that's been coming out. The gameplay itself is not what's bad. It's the content. It's the everlasting content, the in-game content. Nobody wants to run a hive over and over and over again. And uh, we're waiting on the new characters far and few between. We finally got Kate Bishop, and then we get Hawkeye. They're both very similar. A little different, obviously, with playing both, but not too much different. Not enough to differentiate, like, this character is Iron Man, and this character is Hulk. You know, there's not... You need that differentiating thing. But at least we're on to Black Panther here sooner than later, so hopefully things just kind of pick up. I'm still skeptical myself, but... We won't go into too much. I did go over this a lot in a previous video. So we'll leave it at that. Marvel's Avengers being on PC and PlayStation Now is one of the top five games being streamed. Uh, next on the list, let's go over Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh, this is the next one on the list. And this one is pretty cool uh, because the fact that it is a PlayStation AAA exclusive, the game is phenomenal. And the game is also out to buy on PC separately from PlayStation Now. So this is just another way to play that game. Um, I'd like to see the percentages of completions on this because I just think this is really a captivating game. I can't wait for the sequel to be coming out supposedly this year. I'm still very skeptical about that as well. Fingers crossed it is. But uh, yeah, Horizon Zero Dawn, tons to do. Um, somebody asked me what it was like, I believe on a stream recently. They said, what is Horizon Zero Dawn? How how would you describe that? And and to me, and maybe this isn't to everybody else, but to me, I think it's a mix of Uncharted. It's a mix of Breath of the Wild. It's a mix of Tomb Raider. It's just kind of like they, they put it in this pot and kind of stirred it around. So you got a lot of great gameplay. I prefer the gameplay even more over the story. The story is really great still, um, but the gameplay is what just draws me in. It's just super smooth. It feels good. Everything works well your different weapon mechanics, you name it. So um, if I didn't know any better, uh, if I went into this blindly, I would have been like Insomniac, clearly had to put this together. But no, Guerrilla Games, the folks that did create the series known as Killzone, did create this game for those of you that may not be in the know on that. So just a little bit of tidbit info. Um, so kind of surprising, but uh, they did a very fantastic job. I cannot wait for the sequel as well. Moving on, uh, the next on the list of five games, let's go ahead and pull out Detroit Become Human. Uh, Detroit Become Human is one of those games that was a PlayStation exclusive. It now is on PC as well that you can buy separately, but nonetheless is on PlayStation now. Um, uh, in regards to that, it's another another uh, David Cage game, right? Uh, you have choices, the characters the graphics everything is on par the stories i thought the story was well done they thought it was a little 
on the weaker side, a little bit more on the weaker side, um, people still feel like Heavy Rain was the best story, which I can agree to that. Um, this comes in a very close second, uh, or yeah, very close second because it, it's up there. I like I like the themes behind it, and I like the characters behind it, and then just trying to find out where everything goes. And it does does play a bit on society, how we view each other now. And everything like that. Um, I did an entire playthrough of that. Uh, not a Let's Play. This is well before me doing this channel. Um, but uh, I don't feel that I ever had the need to want to go back and do the different choices and stuff like that. It's like, that's my bed. I laid in it. Didn't really care to try and get the platinum or affect the choices. Because if I'm going to do that, you're going to have to follow a roadmap. And to me, that's boring. So, um, But still a fantastic game. So I see why this would be on the list, especially for those that want to try it out. And it's part of that PlayStation Now package. So uh, next on the list, we'll go ahead and just get the let the cat out of the bag here. We have The Last of Us Part 1. Um, no surprise, another AAA PlayStation exclusives. One of the best games of PlayStation 3's generation, uh, one of the best games still with the remastered in the PS4's version. Um, I still prefer this one over the second one. I think most of us do. Um, so I know there was a lot to be, uh, you know, pulled apart into the first one and a lot to be explored for those that didn't have a PlayStation and wanted to try this out possibly for the first time or maybe even just revisit it via your PC for whatever the reason is. Um, so in regards to that, um, I do think this is the superior version. I truly feel they, they could have delved more. And without going to spoiler territory, even though this has been out a while, and I'm sure most of you know what happened in the second one, I still won't spoil that here. But um, it's just it just gets me to this day. If I think about it too much, I get a little irritated because I just there was just so much story. The story in two, like I said, in, you know, I'm not making this a rant video, but... Like I said in a previous video of mine, I went over this, so I won't go into it too deep, but they just had so much more story to explore from this first one and with the characters in the first one. And they just gloss over it all and they just, I felt like they wanted to push the narrative in, in the direction they wanted to, to be super different and out of left field and this and that. And... It's, it's truly unfortunate. The gameplay in 2 is, is really great. The, the graphics, the presentation, the voice acting, everything about it is great. But they just did a disservice to me. As good as the game is, they did a disservice to the story in the heart, um, in my opinion. They could have held off and, and made number 2, number 3, part 3, whatever they want to do. Um, I felt like it was just rushed to get to that point that they wanted to drive home. And, uh, you know, some of the, some of the uh, flashback scenes, if it's not too spoiler here, I won't get into details, but some of the flashback scenes were super good and uh, just hit the tip of the iceberg of what you could have experienced together um, in that. So, however, back to Last of Us Part 1, phenomenal masterpiece, one of the greatest games of all time, of all time. So, no surprise to me, this is on the top five most played for spring on PC. Um, and to round out this list, we do have a game, I don't know, you might have heard of it, uh, called Bloodborne, for those Souls-like fans out there. Uh, Bloodborne is another phenomenal game. I have yet to fully, I, I can't hold too much merit, because I have yet to fully play an entire Demon Souls or Dark Souls game all the way through. But for what I have played on multiple versions, um, I played Dark Souls 1, 2, and now 3 for a couple hours, and... Demon Souls with the remake and obviously Bloodborne because of PS Plus. Um, I didn't buy it before that because I'm not a huge Souls-like fan. They're phenomenal games, just not for me. But I did play um, a good chunk of it and to me, just gameplay-wise and story and environment, I felt like this is the best of the Souls-like series um, in my opinion. So no surprise because that's another AAA exclusive from PlayStation side of things. So PC users I'm sure wanted to get their hands on that. And they were able to via PlayStation Now. So just I kind of wanted to highlight this as part of the news. Because not only here are the games. Here's uh, a little bit of the data behind it. Or maybe the reasoning behind these. But it just goes to show that PlayStation Now has a lot going for it. Game Pass is phenomenal. There's nothing to take away from that. Nor would I want to. Because I will call it like it is. It doesn't matter what platform I prefer. 
a game is a game and a game is amazing and a service is amazing if the service is amazing. So um, nothing to take away from Game Pass, but I do like to bring to light because I think a lot of folks think, well, PlayStation Now doesn't hold a candle to Game Pass, and you might be right when it comes to certain things. But, uh, you know, there's just a lot of content in PlayStation Now. I recently got it through the days of play for $44.99 for 12 months, which equals out to be around $3 or something like that a month, which is not much, considering an entire library that's constantly changing month to month um, for a few games here and there. But uh, really just, just some great content out there, so I just kind of want to make that uh, a topic of awareness, and for those of you that may not understand that this can be played on not only on a PlayStation console for PlayStation Now, but you can also play this on your PC of any type. So, um, I don't believe Chromebooks, but you can on your PC or laptop gaming PC, right? So, just want to throw that out there, but let me know what everybody thinks. Does this list surprise you? Is there anything that made that five list, top five list? Then maybe you thought, wow, why is that on there? Or is this pretty much something you would expect? And have you tried out PlayStation now? Do you plan to play it in the future or try it out? There is a seven day free trial for the first time signing up, so definitely keep that in mind. Uh, but let me know your thoughts and opinions below on today's video. I'll go ahead and wrap it up for now. And like I said, just a heads up, I will be uploading. I should have some cell service. I will get an upload of, uh, a Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart review on Saturday at some point. No, Who knows how slow the upload will be, but at some point it should be there. Um, and then we'll see what uh, kind of the week unfolds. I will be out Friday and Saturday, and we'll be coming back at some point on Sunday. Um, so hopefully I'll still be able to stream on Sunday, but I'll have some sort of content ready for you to go on Friday and Saturday. So stay tuned for that. And as always, thank everybody. Thank you everyone for your support. It means a lot. We are 86 subscribers out of the 100 goal. I know we can hit that 100 goal. So thank you so much. Uh, word of mouth and everything else you can do in between really means a lot. It really does, folks. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and as always, check in the description below on these news commentary videos. I do have a link to the Discord chat to join the community. Feel free to do that. Um, I do have my Twitter and Instagram on there as well as a Patreon. If you do want to take a look at that as well, feel free to click on the link. And uh, thank you everybody for the final time. I can't say it enough because I wouldn't even be at 86 subscribers without all of you out there. So thank you. It doesn't go unnoticed. Um, and we'll go ahead and wrap up for now. Enjoy the rest of your Tuesday, everybody, and we'll see you next time on the next X-Vault Gaming video. Take care.